Hello, I'm Rick Torbett at Better Basketball. You know, every tribe has their own language, and basketball is no different. Do you know the language? If you're going to be a player or even a coach, there's stuff you got to know. The good news is, you can learn it like you build a house, one brick at a time. Oh, hey, I was just reading a chapter called Better Shooting in our secret Better Basketball book. Um, I kind of found it to be a, a hit or miss subject. Uh, sorry. Uh, I came across the word ready. What does ready mean? Well, have you ever heard someone use the expression, get a grip? You know, get a grip on yourself. Get a grip on the situation. Well, the first step to becoming an outstanding shooter is to get a grip on the ball. But that's too many words. In the Better Basketball book, we call it ready. That way, I can make a question out of just one word. Ready? Ready means get the proper grip on the ball that will allow you to shoot it without making any more hand adjustments. Before I tell you what the proper grip is, let me tell you what it's not. When I was a kid, I saw this Hall of Fame player on TV giving instructions about how to shoot even though he wasn't a great shooter, okay? He was in the Hall of Fame for, some, for other reasons, okay? And he said, spread your hand as wide as possible to get a grip on the ball. No, I don't know how many shots he ruined with those instructions, but you don't do that. We got a relaxed grip on the ball, okay? Across the seams here. The other thing that I hear that's false all of the time is get the ball up on your fingertips. Whoever tells you to do that, just ask them to shoot the ball with it on their fingertips. And I promise you, they're not a great shooter. They're not even a good shooter, okay? Our hands are loaded with nerve sensors that will help us guide the ball to the go. And if you put it only on your fingertips, you're relegating that to maybe 10% of your hand. Okay, no, no, no. The ball is going to rest on your fingertips, finger pads, even your thumb pads, okay? Yes, it does not rest right in the center of my palm, but most of the rest of my hand is on the ball. Okay, so here's how we get ready. Okay, when I say ready, we find the seams horizontal like this. We put our shooting hand relaxed on it. We set it in a waiter position like you're carrying a plate in a restaurant. Okay, wrist back like this, very relaxed. Okay, now that, that allows me to do something with this guide hand. Not we can, my guide hand, it has a purpose. All four fingers and thumb are pointing to the ceiling. That's all you got to remember. And put it right here on the side where the X is. And now we're ready to set the ball in our shot pocket. Oh, did I just use two words I haven't defined yet? Set and shot pocket. You know, I saw those in that Better Basketball book. Hello, I'm Rick Torbett at Better Basketball. You know, every tribe has their own language, and basketball is no different. Do you know the language? If you're going to be a player or even a coach, there's stuff you got to know. The good news is, you can learn it like you build a house, one brick at a time. Hey, I found the second step to becoming an outstanding shooter, and it was right here in our ultra-secret Better Basketball book in a chapter called Better shooting available at betterbasketball.com. The word is set. Now, we already know what ready means. Ready means get the proper grip on the ball. We've already learned how to get the waiter position, uh, guide hand on the side. Now we're ready to set the ball. Well, set the ball means to load it into your shot chamber. Some people call it your shot pocket. First, let's cover what's not your shot pocket. It's not below your waist. It's not above your head. It's not on your shoulder. It's not in front of your face. Your shot pocket, your shot chamber, where the ball is going to leave and go to the goal, is from a, about your chin to your belly button, depending on your age and your strength and your size, okay? Somewhere right in here. Now, furthermore, it's not against your belly like this. It's not 
you're not going to have three point contact. One, two, three. Okay. This pocket, it's called a pocket because it could hold another ball right here. Let's sum up the set position. From shoulder to elbow should be perpendicular to the floor. With your wrist set, your forearm ought to be parallel to the floor. From a side view, your shot pocket should form two right angles, that's your elbow and your wrist. From the correct set position, we're ready to go on to the third stage, which is to uncoil and fire. Hello, I'm Rick Torbett at Better Basketball. You know, every tribe has their own language, and basketball is no different. Do you know the language? If you're going to be a player or even a coach, there's stuff you got to know. The good news is, you can learn it like you build a house, one brick at a time. Welcome back to Shooting School. After consulting the Better Basketball Dictionary, I found the third word that you need to know to complete your third stage in becoming an outstanding shooter. The word is fire. Now, you've got the ball ready. That's the proper grip. You've set the ball in your shot chamber. Your shooting wrist is set. And when I say fire, your entire body moves up and out toward the goal. There's no negative motion. The ball does not dip. The ball does not go away from the goal on its way up. And here's the best kept secret to always having plenty of power and distance on your shot. Time your wrist breaking with your feet leaving the ground. Now, I've trained a lot of shooters and they have their problems, but shooting distance is not one of them because of this one simple thing. Time your wrist breaking with your feet leaving the ground. You may have to take your coordination pills, practice a little bit, but this will help you recruit the power in your glutes, the most explosive muscles in your body, and you'll just ride that power wave from your feet all the way up to the point of release in your shot. Your hands and arms were meant to guide the ball. Your legs and core working together provide all the power. Now, does that sound weird? Do you think that you jump, hang, test the wind, and then shoot? Do you think your shoulders and arms get the ball to the go? No, no, no. They're for fine motor control. Arms, wrists, hands, they've got to be relaxed to perform this function. Ready, set, fire. Sounds like you're shooting a, a gun or a bow and arrow. Those two have sights, things you can line up and put on your target. Do we have anything like sights that, that can help us locate our target? Well, let me check the Better Basketball book. Hello, I'm Rick Torbett at Better Basketball. You know, every tribe has their own language and basketball is no different. Do you know the language? If you're gonna be a player or even a coach, there's stuff you gotta know. The good news is you can learn it like you build a house, one brick at a time. Shooting school is open. If you're gonna be an outstanding shooter, you've got to know how to finish your shot. That brings us to one word, pose. You know, players will ask me, why did I miss to the left? Well, because you didn't pose. Well, why did I miss to the right? Uh, you didn't pose. Why was my arc too flat or, or too high? The answer is the same, because you didn't pose. So, okay, what does pose mean? Well, it brings up another phrase that you need to add to your vocabulary. Catch the goal between your arms. This is how you sight the goal. As the ball goes up, you catch the rim between your wrist and then between your arms. Now, this means you've got to keep both arms up in order to check your sights. 
that brings up the word pose. You've got to pose. I'll guarantee you that it's the best way to keep the ball straight. But there's more to a pose than that. Your shooting wrist should be broken and your shooting fingers need to be pointing down into the goal. The tips of your fingers should never be lower than the top of the square, and most of the time they're higher. Your guide hand should form a tomahawk chop and frame the side of the rim. And that's another phrase that pays. Finish your shot by framing the goal. There's your phrase, frame the goal. Your guide hand frames the side and your shooting hand forms the top of the window. Our sequence from start to finish is ready. Shooting hand balances the ball, guide hand on the side with the fingers pointing up. Set, feet square under shoulders, body bent, ball in the shot pocket, two right angles, four arms parallel to the ground. Fire, everything goes up together. Time the breaking of your shooting wrist with your feet leaving the floor. Pose. Freeze your follow through and check your shooting sights. Both arms extended, shooting wrists fully broken, shooting fingers on the shot line above and pointing down into the goal. The tips of those fingers finish above the little white square. Non-shooting hand along the side of the rim, feet are still pointing toward the goal and under your shoulders. Is there more to building a great shot? Well, of course, a great shot is always under construction especially if you're going to learn how to catch and shoot, shoot off the dribble, catch and shoot off the move. However, if you add killer amounts of repetition to the techniques attached to these four words, ready, set, fire, and pose, you're on your way to join an elite club of great shooters.